guys, it's Lauren here and I'm on my way to North Hollywood because I'm about to take over someone's kitchen. Her name is Guadalupe and I'm excited because she told me she's been vegan for seven years. So the, hopefully that means she's got like a decently stocked fridge and pantry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, raid the cupboards, raid the fridge, take out whatever she's got a la recipe. But instead of cooking this in my house like I normally do, I'm taking over her kitchen and her and I are gonna cook together, hopefully learn from each other and hopefully make something magically vegan and delicious. So let's go meet her. Oh my God, <laughs> hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Can I come in? Yeah. <laughs> Hi Graham, nice, nice to meet you. you. Uh, thanks for having me. Did you, it's so clean in here. I like and, all the white. And then our black fridge. Oh, wait, um, you're like really well stocked in here. Did you, there's when did a few you, things. Well, like, because we usually get groceries at the beginning of the week, so I there's love this. Some stuff. Is this tofu? It is tofu. <laughs> Looks like a scoby, like a kombucha scoby. So show me around. So that's the fridge. I'm gonna raid that in a second. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we have a panini maker. This is fun, yeah, panini maker. Um, all of the things are like in here in the stove, like the pots and pans. Oh, okay. So all right. Here. Oh great, yes, There's you have to be stuff. clever with your storage in the apartments, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've got a pizza pan, we've got a cast iron, that's good. Whoops. <laughs> Is this cast iron? I think. We're definitely probably gonna use a pan. So you know the deal, I'm gonna like do what I do on my channel normally, like recipe, and we're gonna like figure out this inspiration and you and I are gonna make something fun. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited. I'm excited. I'm excited too because I'm actually curious to learn from you because of your background. You are Mexican. Yes. And Latin, so you mm -hmm. have like an influence that I don't have. Do you kind of cook that way a lot? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Like I love spicy food okay. and I think those are like a lot of the like Mexican spices are the spices that I like tend to go for. Um, and I just love like recreating dishes that I like grew up eating. Yeah. But. I'm not saying we have to do that, but I'm curious to see if it comes through with this because I'm kind of curious. I'm going to guess, are there spices in here? No. So that's oh, like glasses, glasses okay. and stuff. Spices are actually in here. Okay. Oh, great. Fan so packed. we have lots to work with. We have yeah. chili flakes. This is my favorite. I always like to see what we have flavor-wise to work with first, right? Mm -hmm. And if I'm limited this way. Do you have a favorite spice? Um, this back here is this like Ethiopian oh. cayenne, which is, has Spicy? like a unique, yeah. That's unique interesting. Flavor. Got all the essentials. This is a very hot for food spice uh, cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I also noticed as I walked in the hot for food cookbook up there. Yeah, it's one of only two cookbooks <laughs> yeah, that I have. So you use it a lot. Yeah. Okay, what have you made? Um, the mac and cheese, the Alfredo, yeah. um, the pizza, like that dough recipe mm -hmm. I use all the time. Um, a couple of the soups. Yeah, the soups are good. Yeah. So this is like a well-used kitchen. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna blow it up today. It's like nice and clean right now, but I'm about to blow it up. <laughs> All right, let's go in the fridge. This is my favorite part, guys. We're just gonna see what's in here. We have some spices out. I think we should try to use this just because I've never used it before. Yeah. And now let's go in here. I want to use this because it's, it's like- It's clearly like, it needs, needs to be used. Oh yeah, it needs to be used. It's fine though, but it's, yeah. It probably has like today yeah. only. <laughs> so tofu, do you ever cook this way? Like, do you cook the way yeah. you've seen me do on the channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, just... I think I have to because since it's just two of us that live here, um, like, pretty often food will start to go bad yeah, and there's like, not enough people like eating it. And you don't want to waste. Yeah. We've got lots of mayonnaise. Yeah. This is fun. All the condiments. Hmm. I see you have some Beyond sausage. There's one Just left. Just one. Would you eat this for breakfast normally or dinner? Dinner. Okay. Yeah, I never use them You don't use them for breakfast, eh? Oh, I love this. She's got it all. She's got ground round. She's got vegan parm. She's got Vegan cheddar. What brand are these? Um, those I think are field roast. 
Yes, you're right. The Frankfurters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's this? And like a, a tiny amount of tofurkey chicken. Perfect. Let's use that. <laughs> the more random and like sparse, the better. Hmm. We definitely have a lot of choice. Tomatoes, that could go with our tomato business. I'll remember those are there. We've got onion and garlic we can use. Okay, we've got a little bit of celery. Maybe we can use that up too. too. Oh yeah, let's look in the pantry too. This is pretty full too. Should the boyfriend chime in? Is there anything you like? <laughs> Well, I'm curious to see how all these things are gonna get combined. Yeah. So. Hang on, this is a great idea. Have you guys ever made um, like Frito pie? Or like- Wait, With a little layer of Frito sauce? Yeah, or you can like make some weird thing. I've seen people eat it straight out of the bag. Oh or, like, yeah. Like you pile like taco stuff on top. Yeah. Well, that used to be my thing. That's your was, thing. Well, when I was in high school with like hot Cheetos, not Fritos, but basically. Time to veganize that. Tradition. Maybe Our we can do something with that. <laughs> yeah. I've never done this with someone else. Yeah. This is the first time I'm doing this, so it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, we had pasta yesterday, so okay. I would prefer not to do pasta. Okay, no pasta, fine. But I'm, other than that, I'm curious about this. Is this. Does this cook quickly? Yeah, I think so. Spanish think it's rice. About like 15 minutes. I'm all about quick cooking rice because when it takes like 45 minutes or longer, I'm like, I don't have time for that. Green chili stew. What's this? So that was uh, from my mom. Actually, she gave it to us from when they were in uh, Santa Fe or no Taos, uh, New Mexico. Mm. And I know one of the things that Lupe makes is she's talking about making her uh, uh, family the traditional dishes is a great chili Colorado. And I was hoping she could make a stew eventually. What? That. Okay, wait. What's that? What? Tell me what that is. So traditionally, chile Colorado is just like like these dried chilies that are in here and you like toast them and then you mix it with like beef broth and different meat and potatoes and carrots um, and it's just it tastes like home to me and you just pour that over like rice what if we do that but like kind of like fuse it with hot for food and we put fritos on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> we can make like a frito what if we baked it too like what if we made the stew but then we made it more like a casserole I think it could work. Yeah, but we'll still keep it authentic in flavor. Okay, yeah. I like that. Now, okay, the pronunciation I'm never gonna get. What is it called? <laughs> Chile. Chile. Colorado. Like Colorado. <laughs> oh, but you're saying it so beautifully. Ch say it again. Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> Chile. Colorado. Colorado. Colorado, though. What does Colorado have to do with anything? Well, it's just because of like the dark, chilies that are used, okay. so. And you have those, where are yeah. those? Oh, show me so those. those. Oh, so wow. Yeah. Do we have to hydrate those? No. We don't. You toast them and then mix them in with like tomato, onion, garlic. This is very interesting. Dehydrated potatoes, dried green onion and vegetable base. Okay, so this is almost like our stock base. Mm -hmm. But we, I saw you have a potato and a sweet yeah. potato, so we could probably use that. I'm not sure about this. I'm yeah, I think we can fresh. use the stock. Let's use fresh, let's use the stock. Okay, maybe we take the rice and the Fritos and we put that on the top as mm -hmm. like the top layer. Like, you know, a shepherd's pie is like potatoes on top, but the potatoes will be inside and then the top will be more like a crispy rice thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna I think try it's an interesting you're, you're, you're down? Okay, let's try that. Maybe we'll use the Spanish rice, but we can use half the amount of seasoning that's in there. So yeah. We'll try that. Okay. Why don't we just combine the sausage out of the casing, crumble brown it mm -hmm. with tofu, just to bulk it up. Yeah. I might even be so bold as to just throw this in because you wouldn't even notice anyway. Yeah. We're just gonna use up what you have. Cause like this is like, what would you even use this for at this point? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna throw it in this casserole. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I had to figure out how to make this on my own because I like really wanted it one day and I called my mom and I asked her for the recipe, but she's like the worst. Like, well, it's in her head. Yeah, yeah. and she'll just be like, oh, throw onion in and you ask her like, well, how much? And she's like, you'll know. <laughs> I don't know, no, that's the problem. you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> We're making like kind of, I think, a smaller portion. I bet your mom makes like a portion for 20 people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a big family yeah. that we have. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this chicken in there. 
the sausage and the tofu and it's just all gonna turn into its own like meat. You're okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we'll add a little bit of, well I guess you're saying the chilies and the stock are enough spice, enough seasoning. Yeah. That whole thing is like definitely something my mom would do though. Like mixing all these different yeah. things? Oh cool. Okay, I always channeling remember. your mom. Well, like Thanksgiving, she would just like, I mean, she would stuff the turkey with like whatever was in the fridge. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that? Okay, well, I like that. I like that we're kind of doing what she would do. So did you grow up cooking with your mom a lot? Um, I wouldn't really cook with her because it was, like I said, she wouldn't like explain things. Yeah. So I didn't start cooking until I turned vegan, really. Oh, okay. Um, but my mom cooked a lot, and she would cook like everything from scratch. So I definitely like grew up watching her. Yeah, I think that even if you're not doing it with her, I feel like it's in your blood because like that's like my mom would make all of our food, and I didn't necessarily join in, but I do feel like I absorb that information somehow mm -hmm. just by being around it or like eating that or you know just having those ideas instilled in me. Because I don't have yeah. any formal cooking like training, I just, but I feel like I've always been around it because my mom made our food. Yeah, I think that's why like, I really enjoy cooking because it just reminds me of growing up mm -hmm. and like having all the aromas around. Yeah. Um, and whenever possible, I like prefer to make things from scratch because she would, like she would make our tortillas or like yeah. if we were gonna have pizza, it was like because she was making the dough and everything. It makes a huge difference. I think that those choices inform totally how you grow up as an adult. Like I have friends who ate just like random packaged food growing up and they're not into cooking and that's why because they didn't have, they weren't around it. Yeah, although in my teens I also. <laughs> well yes, you ate Fritos pie you sent, you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I would get like hot Cheetos and put nacho cheese on top of them. <laughs> and like jalapenos for more spice. So was this an influence of your friends though or like rebelling against your mom's home cooking or like your your heritage or something? Um, I don't know. I think it was just influence from my friends. Like yeah. just yeah. quick like junky food. Um, but I feel like I got that all out of my system for the most part. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But you still eat hopper food nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah, but that's different. But not like the gross You don't like cheese. hate yourself. After. Exactly. That's how that is how I sell that cheese. You won't hate yourself after you eat it. I only added salt and smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. You don't think anything else? Hmm. Should we add some of the cayenne or Oh yeah, that? this is what is it, Egyptian cayenne? Yeah. Ethiopian. Ethiopian, <laughs> sorry. Okay, it actually doesn't smell spicy. It's more like flavorful. Yeah. Okay, I kind of like it. It has almost like a citrus note to it, which is mm -hmm. weird. Like an herbate, it has a more of an herbaceous thing mm -hmm. to it than a spice. So let's make sure it's not too spicy though. Yeah, one of Graham's coworkers brought that for him from Ethiopia. And we had like a little batch of it and like, we just really liked it, so now we have to go to Little Ethiopia and get it, like, all the time. In Las Vegas? No, no, no. <laughs> no. There's a place, like, in LA. Okay. I know we're blending some, but I feel like some should be unblended. Like, some yeah. of the onion. Right? Okay. No? Do you not mm. agree? No, I think so, because... I think there should be some the whole chunks casserole. of, like, those the potatoes and the carrots will be chunks. Uh huh. The tom and some of the onion, I think I should throw in with this. So can okay. I can I take some? Can you yeah. dice some up smaller for me, and then I'll take like yeah. some of that. Oh, this looks good. Do you have vegan butter? Yeah, I'm gonna add it's it. It's in there. Okay. Yeah, there's earth balance. Oh, great. Like on that second. Row. Yep. Okay, so butter, bring to a boil, reduce heat to low, cover and simmer. Okay, I think that can do its thing there. Now, you're saying take out the seeds and then this can go in the blender thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the meat stuff's done, mm -hmm. the rice is cooking, so what now? 
Yeah, so usually I would roast the tomatoes also just so that those have like a little bit of the smoky flavor too. Yeah. Um, along with the onions, but since we have some onions in there, I think okay. that these can just go like fresh yeah. to give it more of that like oniony flavor. Sure. Um, and then what I'm unsure about is the celery because I don't usually put celery yeah. in. <laughs> but I, I think we're just gonna throw, throw that in, right? I think we just throw that into what's getting blended, but I would cook it a little, personally. Okay. So why don't we just put it in with the tomatoes? Yeah. So yeah. do you have another pot, or is that our only That's one? The only oh, one. the trick, so we'll okay. <laughs> do, would you add oil to this? Yeah. Yes, great. There's avocado oil. Favorite cooking oil at the moment? Oil. Would we add any salt? Yeah, yes. salt. And that should be fine. Oh, and we can add the garlic. Oh yeah, I forgot about garlic. Let's add some garlic. I think yeah, you can go can fairly heavy on that. How much? I want to see how more? much you would add, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> see, I always thought I added a lot. I would do like this much. Oh my god, I would do like the whole spoonful. Okay. <laughs> Is that enough? A bit more. But that's okay. That's just. I just wanted to see. That's true though. Most people, I think, skimp on things when they could go actually heavier on them. But this looks like it's gonna taste good to me. I mean, it doesn't look like tofu mixed with chicken mixed with sausage, I know. so. Perfect, that's gonna be great. I'm wondering how spicy this is, because this is the green chili. Mm -hmm. Why don't we, I mean, we can always add this after, so why don't we start with that and that. I think we can use that. Okay. What this tastes like. Yeah, what do you think? I'm gonna be gross. <laughs> It smells like oregano. It's so good. I'm gonna add it all. Add it. Or do you think it's gonna be too salty now with the boot? Mm. Okay, well, sorry, let's just let this cook and let's see. Okay, should we turn on the oven? Yeah, so what, do, I think we actually should bake this at mm, like 375. 375, yeah, okay. totally. I was gonna say 350, but I was like, no, I think it needs to be hotter for the top. Okay, so I'm doing this right. We're blending all of this, but yeah. we think we might need to do half I think, and half. Yeah. And let's just take some potato. How are you feeling about this dish so far? Are you, do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> no, I think it'll be good. Like, I think we stuck to what you wanted originally, right? Yeah. Like, and the original recipe is like really simple, so I think it also lends itself to a lot of modifications. Right. I'm adding liquid here to get that thick, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna let you blend it since you know your blender. Ooh, it's spicy. Like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think so. Oh shoot. <laughs> because I think we want potatoes in here, right? Yeah. Ooh. It smells good. It tastes really good. I like it. That's like about how spicy I would make it. But I think it might be spicy. Oh! Is it fine? No, I can handle okay. this. Because it still has a lot of flavor at mm. the top, so it. It's actually like a little sweet at the beginning. Yes, it is. I feel like you're gonna have leftover for yeah. some other recipe if you wanted. You could even like thin that out with more stock and just make, make a soup, mm -hmm. right? Because I feel like there's too much liquid, but let's combine this. Okay. Although wait, <laughs> Sorry. I wanna make sure this doesn't taste like completely different than that. Oh, it's good. Okay, throw that in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So if you were making this traditionally, mm -hmm. is this at all accurate, or is this? Um, so usually it'd be like thinner right. because it is a little bit more like a soup. Okay. But the flavor is definitely there. Okay. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're gonna have leftover, so you can try it as a soup version too. Mm -hmm. But I think let's pour this over top. And See, then, this is like yeah. stew though. To mm -hmm. me, this is like a stew consistency. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this idea. I think this is so cool. 
Yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. And this is gonna be a nice thin layer, so hopefully it gets crispy. Are you so willing to just out. smash that right now on the counter so we can use them? Yeah. Okay, just crush them up. I've never crushed them like this, No, yeah. this should be fine, right? Yeah, if you're annoyed by something. I did want them to be mixed in, so I'm just gonna take, do you have a fork? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sort of like poke them in, or you can do it, like kind of like, without digging too far in, yeah, like squish them into the rice a little. Cause now I'm worried the rice isn't gonna get crispy. Okay, Lupe, throw it in the oven. There's a little bit of rice you can eat, or Graham can eat. I don't eat that much rice, it's all right. Okay, let's put it on the top. Is it, is the heat good on the top? Like is it usually mm -hmm. hotter? Okay, let's put it on the top. Do 50 minute timer. Just cause I don't want it to overcook, but. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Oh good, it's got like a thickened side bubbling thing happening. Yeah. And it definitely got crispy. Those look like cornflakes. Are you ready? I'm more than ready. I don't think there's a fashion to scooping, we just scoop. I think it's the right thickness I was going for. Look at that. Oh. oh yeah, look at how perfect the thickness is. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, it's holding up. It's holding up like yeah. a, it's like a casserole. I'm excited to try it. Oh my God, okay, that's yours. Thank you. Fork. So this is chile. Colorado. Colorado. Oh, I kind of did it. Colorado. Yeah, better. Casserole. Frito casserole. I don't know if we need the Frito part in there. It's hot. That's good. <laughs> That's so good. Does it taste like what we're calling it? Does it taste like? It does. I mean, it definitely tastes different okay. because of the Fritos, but, but that's the good. underlying flavor is like it's definitely right. what Chile Colorado usually tastes like. Okay. Like just super like comforting, homey. Yeah. It's so comfort food. It's very hot for food with like the Mexican twist, which I was like <laughs> hoping we would do, but I didn't know if we would. So I feel like this is so perfect. Mmm. My turn. Oh yeah, you, you, you gotta it? try it too. <laughs> like chili Colorado. What do you think? I think it looks great. It looks very interesting. Wait, did you say chili Colorado or? Chile Colorado. Chile Colo, Chile, it's Chile. 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 Oh. Chile. Colorado. <laughs> Why can't I do that? Are either of us even close, really? I think if you combine <laughs> Lauren's Chile and <laughs> Colorado, oh, yeah, then we're, on we're getting there. Okay. We're getting how, there. That's what we're doing. We're combining things. That's there. true. That's I can't even get the R, so we have a problem. Okay. <laughs> da da da. The boyfriend taste test. Mmm. <sighs> It has that smokiness mm -hmm. and everything you want from the dried chilies, or chilies that you have in the soup, but then it has that hardiness from the casserole approach with the traditional Spanish, uh, Mexican you know, rice aroni that's in it and the Fritos. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it was Spanish rice, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think it deviates too far, though. No. What do you think of the spice level? It's got a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. It's less spicy than the sauce was on its own. Yeah, I think it, But like, because of the like big chunks of potato. It was perfect to me in terms of spice. Okay, so that was a total success, I think. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Absolutely. Thanks for letting me take well over done. your kitchen. Well, thank you for coming. And I think I'll probably like pack up some of it and take it to my mom and see. see like, oh yeah, I wanna know what your mom thinks. Yeah, I'll take a little video of her. And she really, I mean, she kind of inspired this, right? Yeah. So we would love to know what she thinks. Let's make sure we save her some before we eat it all. <laughs>